do you want to write a book and you're here to find out a bit more about what goes into writing a book? Fantastic. My name is Sigrid Akas. My business is Sticky Beak Marketing, and I have been in and around marketing for a very long time. I'll tell you a bit more about myself in a moment. What I want to share with you is the steps that go into writing, publishing, and marketing your book for your business. So let me take you through a few visuals to um, really highlight what I'm talking about. I'm sharing specifically my book writing framework and why it is so different to anything on the market. There are so many myths and outdated thinking that abound around writing a book. And the first one is that you just go about and start writing, just do a little bit every day and your book will come together. Why is that not going to work for you? simply because you don't know where to start and when to stop. You could write for years and still not know whether you've put everything you need to put into your book. You might end up with 150,000 words that nobody's ever going to make the time to read in these you know, short attention span times that we are in. Starting to write is not the way to go. And I'll tell you what the better way is in a moment. Let me share with you two more of these really outdated ways of thinking, these myths that are out there and abounding. When you finish your writing, most people then go to step two and they look for a publisher. Now, there are so many different options of publishing out there. Which is the right way for you? Are you going to ask other people and they're going to point you in this or that direction? How do you know one or the other is right for you? You could get locked into a contract where you have no access to your own book. You could not even be accepted by a publisher because they don't think that they are going to make the money that really you want to make from your book. So it is a minefield, if I can use that terminology for it here, to look at publishing. It really is outdated. There are much better ways for you. And the third top myth that I want to touch on here with you today is marketing. Everybody leaves the marketing to last. They think when the book is finished, that's the time to start marketing it. And then they are looking to gain book sales, to make money, to get an investment or a return on their investment into writing and publishing their book. But that just does not work. And I know that because I have people still to this day coming to me asking for help with marketing their book long after they finish writing and publishing it. And it just does not work like that. The sad fact really is that too many people spend a lot of time and resources on that writing, editing and publishing process without aiming for real results. It's sort of like the book is a nice to have, not a need to have. If you are in business, having a book is a need to have and you can achieve solid outcomes with it. You can certainly make a much bigger impact. You can boost your own brand with it and position yourself in the market as the go-to person. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have been, as I just said before, in and, um, in and around marketing since the days where we actually used physical scissors and glue for cut and paste. So very long time. Now, when I go, went into business, I did not start a business. I bought a business and that was a diamond jewelry business. And I had no idea about that industry. I didn't even have my ears pierced in those days. But I knew that with marketing, I could grow that business and I did everything different to what the jewelers at the time were doing here in Australia. Instead of using catalogs, I was using targeted marketing to the different types of people that came through our doors. And that allowed me in the end to really raise and boost up the turnover, the profits in that business. And I was able to easily sell it for double what I bought it for which no other jeweler at that time was able to do. They had nothing to show 
for the money somebody would want to buy a business for. Now, that was a great experience. And so I decided I'll do this one again, but with a different business. This time I went into office supplies, very different industry. Imagine I didn't know anything about that one either. What makes one pencil different from another? Hmm. I learned about it, just like in the industry with the jewelry, very quickly what the differences were. And most of all, I worked out what type of marketing would really build and grow our business, which is the most important part for any business, how you're going to promote yourself and market it. That business I sold for three times what I got for it. So great experiences. But then I discovered I've had enough of retail, of those types of businesses where you have a location. And I wanted to go into something different. And by listening around me, what people and business were saying, I discovered that I had a very unique um, expertise that a lot of others did not have. And then somehow I came across the idea that you can write a book and put your expertise into it and you can really position yourself as that expert authority with that knowledge. And that is what I did. Now, to this day, I have written three different books in three different areas and each one made a different impact for me, positioning me as an expert in that particular area. And as I go through, I will explain and share with you the details of how I did that. So you get the idea how I came about to set my framework for book writing up in the way that I have now. So these are the three books a little bit closer up there, each one for, as I said, a different business and a different area and a different type of expertise that I have had. Now, I won't talk about them in detail on this picture, so let me just go to the next one. The very first book I wrote, Five Practical Steps to Find and Keep Great People. You see, from my marketing knowledge, I knew you had to do some research and set yourself a goal. What is it you want to achieve? So I decided people around me in business had trouble finding great people and keeping them to get their work done well. In my businesses, I had no trouble at all with that. So it was easy for me to decide that is an expertise I can help other people in business with, but not just other people in business. Very specifically, businesses of about the same size as my businesses were. And that meant five to eight staff members. That is what I could handle really well. And I knew exactly how to find new staff, how to train them and how to keep them. And so my, my strategy at the time to achieve my goal to get into consulting with businesses of that size was to write the book to support what I was talking about and the activities to reach that goal to set myself up in that area of my expertise, helping businesses to find and keep great people was very simple. I got the book published, and I sent it out to exactly those businesses around me at that time, gift wrapped and saying, take a look at this. I have done this. I know how I could help you if this is of interest to you. Now, in that very first week, when I did that, I got $25,000 worth of contracts to help businesses find and keep new staff. That is how successful this strategy was for me. The book set me up as the authority. Most of those businesses that came to me in that very first instance did not even read the book. When I recontacted those that hadn't already contacted me to find out more about my work with them, the phones were open. I got put right through to the right person to talk to them about the gift I had sent him. So a fantastic door opening strategy and for me, a way of creating a consultancy without having to go about finding some sort of certification, studying, taking some other long-term measures to get there. The book got me there really quickly. Now, of course, I will say I made loads of mistakes with that first book. All those mistakes that I now know you don't want to make 
And that is why and how I've created the framework that I now offer for you, were you to come and get my help to write your book, you would not make in today's world. The second book that I wrote, The Secret of Marketing a Business, came about very simply because all these businesses that I was working with as a consultant had no marketing to speak of in place. They expected their staff to take on marketing activities, yet they had no framework in place for their staff to do so. And they had no understanding of what actually goes into marketing a business like theirs. They were saying to me things like, there's got to be a secret. I don't know the secret of marketing. You know, my business is different. How do I market it? I have no idea. So that is how my book came about. This particular book, I wanted to build my marketing agency, Sticky Big Marketing, and I wanted to do so globally. The strategy that I used here or the main strategy that I used here was to go out and speak, speak about what the secret of marketing a business like yours is. I was a member of Business Network International. Um, this here was in Hong Kong where I was speaking. I have been to Switzerland, Kuala Lumpur, the US, all over the world. Every time I was traveling and I was able to combine that with business speaking and talking about my book somewhere, promoting that I know the secret of marketing a business like yours. So this book, again, set me up, boosted my branding and certainly helped me to make an impact on a global scale because I always had that book at hand, a book with a title directly related to what people wanted to know, those people that I wanted to work with. And because of the success of my book, my two books previously, which of course I was talking about, people were coming to my marketing agency saying, I have got a book. Now, can you help me market it? You're talking about how your book has helped you. You're talking about your book. Well, what can I do? Here is mine. Can you help me market it? Now, I discovered very quickly that it is almost impossible after the fact to market a book. There are a number of steps that if you haven't put those in place before you started writing and putting your book together for publishing, that makes it very difficult, if not impossible, to market your book. So my third book, Build a Book to Build a Business, came about. It has got a lot of practical tips in there that I know some other book coaches have taken on board and are using for their clients today. That's perfectly okay. They are in there for everybody to read. So now I decided to go down this track and help people like you to write a book. What I want to share with you that makes my particular framework so different is we certainly work with a strategy from the start. And I'm using the term here that we start with a floor plan. We have a question, a question that I ask every client before they start writing a single word is, what do you want your book to do for you? That is like when you think about building a house, you don't just start building, you create that floor plan. What do you want that house to look like? How many rooms do you want to have? You're going to have double story, single story. What is the outside going to look like? What is the inside going to look like? These are all questions we talk about the book. When you start writing your book, before you get started, those are the questions we ask and answer so that you have a very clear floor plan for your book. And by that, I mean, you're going to know what the title is, will be of your book. And with that, you will know very clearly what each chapter will be called. And when you know what the chapter is called, you will know exactly what goes into it where to start and when to stop writing. That all cuts down firstly on the unknown and secondly on the time that it's going to take to write 
your book. You can almost predict at the beginning, once we have the plan in place, how long it will take you, how many hours a week you need to spend on writing. And that might be something as simple as two to four hours a week or less, or you might just spend all of that time in one or two bunches of writing. But the key part here is that you're not going to start writing with my framework, but we start with planning, being really clear on your plan. Number two, the publishing. The publishing, we're not going to wait for somebody to publish it for you. I want you to keep control of your book, every single part of your book. I want you to be able to decide what your book is going to look like, how much of the royalty royalties are yours, where it is going to be able to be distributed, and you're going to have access to your book at any point in time. So did you want to make a change in your manuscript? You can do so. If you want to um, distribute it more in one country or for a different uh, amount of money, then you can do so because Amazon allows you to do all of that. There's no cost involved from Amazon and you keep all the royalties and control. I mean, you went into business, didn't you, to do what you want to do, not what someone else is telling you? Well, this is why publishing your book on Amazon is the way to go. You use your business name as your publisher and your own name as the author. Straightforward and very simple. And the third point is that the marketing. Now, my way of working and writing a book with you is all about the marketing. And really, we are not going through those phases of writing, publishing, marketing in that linear way, which many people do. We know that it is interconnected. We start the planning, you do the writing, we already look at the publishing, and while all of that is going on, we're going to talk about and work on what your marketing needs to be around your book, because we're going to integrate it into your business and what you are already doing now. It needs to fit in with that. It is not a standalone. Your book is part of you and your business. You want to make an impact not with a book on its own, but with everything that you do, with your expertise, and you want to show that you are an authority on that expertise. So you can really create that point of difference for yourself with your book, make the impact you want to make, and inspire people with your message very easily by having a book. So very briefly for you, I want to keep this entire video at a reasonable amount of time for you to watch it because I know you are very busy. And that is another point as to why I created my framework the way I did. Because you are busy in your business and you're working with clients. And so writing a book is something important to you, but you also need to be able to put it together in a reasonable amount of time. My framework starts with what is the outcome you want to achieve with your book? What is a book going to do for you? That allows us to investigate who is going to read that book. Your book title is then simply whatever those people who are going to read it are asking for from you. And then we know what needs to go in your book and we can determine what each chapter needs to be called. Then you can start writing and everything else is going to be simply a matter of talking about what your marketing is going to look like. So let me just say that again and use the example. And I'm just going to use the example of my very first book because it makes it really, really clear for you. My expertise is what I wanted to position with that book. That's what I wanted the book to do for me. So who do I need to write the book for? Where my expertise lies with working with staff, building teams for businesses, five to eight people. Very easy. What are those businesses looking for? To 
find and keep great staff. So we had the title and then I know what needs to go in there all about that topic. So the chapters are mapped out with those headlines. And then I know exactly what needs to go into each chapter. Nothing more, nothing less. That is a really simple and straightforward way. And I knew exactly how long it's going to take me. Sure, I made a few mistakes with that first one, but I have corrected that since. And so if you want to have my help writing your book, book a one-on-one -on -one call with me and we will talk about what it would look like and whether we are a good match and whether your idea for your book is going to really help you do what you want to do with your book. Secret Cast, Sticky Beak Marketing.